Hi there, Summer DeChambeau Page here, Manager of Community Initiatives at the Oakville and Milton Humane Society. We are really excited to share some news with you today. Since 2011, our good friend and local pet photographer Maria Bell has been capturing the dogs and cats in our community, as well as their unique personalities, in her beautiful Dogs of Oakville book series. This year, she's launching her seventh book in the series entitled Together, the 2020 edition. Normally, we would be hosting a really nice in-person gathering to bring together our pets and the owners of the pets that are in the book, but as with COVID, everything has changed. And so today, instead, we thought we would bring in Maria Bell to talk to us a little bit about the book itself and how it all comes together. So welcome, Maria. Thanks Hi, for Summer. joining us today. Hi. I'm very excited to be here. It's great to have you. So we do have a couple of questions for you. Sure. And the first one is, can you tell us a little bit about how the book came to be and how it's transformed over the last few years? Sure. Well, it started out as a calendar in 2010. It was just a calendar I was going to do for my friends. And then the owner of Snap at the time saw what I was doing and asked if I would mind doing a feature for Snap once a month of dogs wandering around town. So I did that for a few years and I thought, oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving meeting people. I'm loving talking to dogs. <laughs> And I just wanted to make it last forever, so I came up with this idea for a book. Oh, great idea. <laughs> <laughs> and can you tell us a little bit about the creative process, how it works, and who's involved in creating this sure. beautiful piece? Well, this year, this cover is created by uh, Ron Russell Gonzalez. That's his dog on the cover. And he did the layouts and stuff for this one. Um, photographers, well, very few this year. Um, Patricia Toth and Jessica Campaign and Russell, uh, we weren't able to go out and photograph dogs. So we had people submit their photos. We challenged them to take some dog mm -hmm. photos. And we got really good results. Yeah, and it sounds like you got, some, or it looks like you got some good results. Mm -hmm. And so how can someone go about getting their pet into the book? Well, just have to contact us, um, Dogs of Oakville on Facebook, or Dogs of Oakville at gmail.com and, and uh, ask. Okay, I know I've had a number of people in the community actually asking me how they can get their pets in the book. So mm -hmm. it's become quite, quite popular and I think you said you now have a waiting list, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the theme for this year's book and what was the inspiration for it? Uh, well, I would have to say that COVID was definitely the inspiration, if you can call it such a thing an inspiration. But together we made this book happen. We're all in this together. We're a community of dog lovers and cat lovers and rabbit lovers, of course, but um, that's how it came together, and that's why it has the name together. I really like that, and the fact that we all know, anyone who has pets, that we've really relied on our pets and dogs a lot through this season, mm -hmm. this really mm -hmm. long season, mm -hmm. to help get us through. Yeah, that's it. Their dogs are a great comfort. They are, they are. Well, and what you may not know is that 100% of the profits that are raised through the sales of the Dogs of Oakville book come back to the shelter to help us carry out our mission of protecting and making life better for animals in our community. So over the last few years, Maria has been creating this beautiful book and donating all of the proceeds back to the shelter. And as a result, over $100,000 have been raised and we've been able to continue providing that top-notch care to all of the vulnerable animals in our community. So thank you, Maria. It's my pleasure. Now, you can get your copy. We have limited quantities available. You can get your copy here at the shelter at 445 Cornwall Road. And let me tell you, they make really great uh, Christmas gifts or holiday gifts for your pet-loving friends and family. They look beautiful on a coffee table especially. They're a great conversation piece. So visit us down here at the shelter. You can get your copy for $50. And like I said, we have limited quantities available, so come visit us today and pick up your coffee. Thanks again, Maria, for being here with us. Thank you guys for everything you do. Thank you.